Now we continue our coverage of Pope Francis in America. Thousands of people lined up in Washington, D.C. this morning to catch a glimpse of the Holy Father. A five-year-old girl was able to make her way through a security barrier and onto the Pope's route. The girl was whisked to the Pope Mobile, where the pontiff gave her a hug and a kiss. Special needs children also lined part of the parade route, and the Pope stopped and got out of his vehicle to greet them. The Pope also giving a kiss to a young girl in a wheelchair. Now, along with the hundreds of thousands of people hoping to catch a glimpse of the pontiff, local Catholic students are traveling to Washington, D.C. to witness Pope Francis' address to Congress on Thursday. Iowa Just News reporter Perry Russum is live with more on why educators think this trip is so important for Catholic students. The group of high schoolers left at noon today, and right now they should be getting ready for their first day in D.C. with Pope Francis. It's a religious pilgrimage for 40 high school students from five Catholic schools in Rhode Island. I mean, this is just an incredible once in a lifetime experience, so I jumped right on it as soon as they offered it. We were there as they were getting on the bus to Washington, D.C. to see Pope Francis. Bye! I think like the atmosphere will be like nice and kind because all those people are coming to hear this one person speak. The kids are so excited just because of what Pope Francis, what he's brought so far and how he's breathe some new life into the Catholic religion. I am so excited. I'm just like stoked. Ever since I first saw him like come out of the Vatican, like he just he just seems really awesome. The group consists of students from St. Ray's, LaSalle Academy, Bayview, the Proud School and Mount St. Charles. I joined in at the last second. It was pretty amazing. I mean, I'm not going to be able to experience this again. Tickets to see the Pope were donated by U.S. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse. And I was thinking of my oldest son who went to see Pope John Paul uh, 25 years ago, and he wow. still talks about it. So this could be something that you know, definitely helps them in their faith development, in their faith journey. It will be a quick trip for the group. Gone today, back tomorrow, being told that they'll see the Pope in person as he steps onto a balcony after addressing a joint session of Congress. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.